Uh, one thing, you know, it's only it's very early in the season. You guys executed very well in, uh, in special teams in terms of the fake punts. Um, just wanted to hear your comments on that. I want to see if you guys worked on that to execute it that well this early in the season. Well, you know, early in the season, you know, you, you, as a coach, you, you know, you want to you want to get fakes and things of that nature on tape uh, for the opponents down the line. Uh, you know, to try to really to try to keep them from pressure here in the future. That's really every coach is not there to look up and see ten men getting ready to rush the park. So I think what it does is it kind of pushes the situation where you you. you make that coach think I need the balance in the way I call my players. So, you know, we're happy that we were able to get that on tape for the future. We're also happy at work, uh, obviously today, but we came in with the uh, the mindset of faking two. We wanted to fake a punt and fake a uh, field goal or a PAT. Uh, we had some missed opportunities in coaching, but when I say coaching, I, I don't necessarily mean um, the actual coaching of the play. I mean the decisions. Uh, that we made. I felt like when we got inside the red zone, uh, we should have gone and kicked the field goal. Um, could have put 12 points on the board where our defense was playing, get back out there and make a stop, and then have another opportunity. So it was just a decision making, you know, and I, I, I really thought that, uh, that that came to our period. Thanks, Coach. Coach, can you just talk about where you're going to take away from playing uh, 64 years? And Kind of what the team's gotten out of it. Well, you know, as I mentioned when when we first started uh, this meeting off, you know, we're we're not a well-resourced team by no stretch of imagination. And just as a, a head coach, and I have two small kids myself, but you know, nearly a lot of my kids on the meal plan, you know, them not eating after practice and so on and so forth, it's, it's tough. You know, it's, and, and it's not just four houses, it's pretty much a division two schools across the country. Uh, you know, to be able to feed them on Friday night, Saturday night, you know, and, and watch it, you know, get some good sleep in a, in a very comfortable and safe environment, and to watch them get the support and the adulation of the fans, so on and so forth, you know, we'll take that away. We'll take the experience away. Um, We'll take away uh, being able to, to measure up against one of the five teams in HBCU football, you know, uh, and, and just the exposure, uh, you know, to be able to recruit. You know, in my office, I have a, a gigantic photo of, you know, just pictures from gigantic photos and pictures from the class. You know, that's a big deal back in Atlanta. You know, and I'm sure it's a big deal uh, here as well. So those are the things that we'll take away and build on.